Yo, what's going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new Locals feature match. Here we are in round one for the week where we've got Rika and Avalon on the left versus Rescue Ace on the right. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this match up here. First match getting uploaded on the channel here in the new format. Not that it's really so new because if we're being totally honest, things really didn't change that much. Except if you want to maybe say that like there's no cash, I guess. But I mean, I'm not complaining about no riser. That I'm definitely very, very happy about. I'll take that every day of the week. But it's really not so much different than last format. But either way, we're going to see uh, quite a bit of interaction here right off the rip. Unexpected die getting into Loki, going into Dryas. And that is going to be met with an impulse effect from our Rescue Ace player, which is met with an ash from our Rika player. They go to try to fire off that sewing and that's going to get ashed as well i think that's a pretty solid ash against the uh the ricka deck it does generate them three bodies off of one card if you, you just think about it quite a lot of advantage there uh, but they do have lily borea in hand already it's gonna allow them to extend grabbing the regulus very very clutch card to be able to get here and they'll also be able to go for dance beyond too so this could actually just kind of go crazy raw style here and let's see if it does. It does find them a princess, which is pretty solid. Now they can get access to Bengal Lancer, as they do have a Link 3 play here available. If they have some other, you know, semblance of Rika engine, they would have a monster negate online going to the next turn by having access to princess. They're going to summon Regulus now by equipping the Lily Boria, and that's always very good because you have Omni Negate available this turn and on the next turn, or if he doesn't end up using this turn on the opponent's turn, then when it comes back to his turn, they still have an Omni Negate available. So we'll see what they decide to do here with the remainder of their cards in hand. But if they don't really have any other thing in terms of engine, I imagine they'll probably just link into the Melius and then link that into Bengalance once they revive this, the Sun Seed. It looks like they have one for one in hand though and they have glamour so they definitely have a play here we'll see what they ended up going for now if this were me i gotta think about what exactly would i do this is one of those rare instances where i play the one of the decks in the commentary so i can i feel like i can provide like a little bit above level like insight that i'm normally able to which is nice so i guess they haven't normal summoned yet so that works too um, yeah, so just grabbing pedal. I was gonna say they could tribute the uh, the the princess Or even the dance peon for a copy of princess and primula and then like summon the princess and then summon primula um, Well summon primula then princess make strena and then make bengal answer um, but I guess going for um, you know The mudan off the pedal is not bad either Especially since they could tribute off the uh, princess to make it level four with the dance peon um yeah, and I guess this is fine too because they get access to Con Con and they get Sheet as well. I think this play makes a lot more sense for sure. So our Rescue Ace player is going to try and lead off here with Rhoda, which could go ahead and search out, I believe it is Airlifter being a warrior, but they're going to go ahead and burn the Therion negate on Rhoda, which is fair enough. And then they're going to normal summon out Hydrant effect attempt to go ahead and search for a Rescue Ace monster. And that is going to get negated promptly by the Rika Princess Engrave tributing Strena as cost. That'll trigger Strena effect. Go ahead and go for the Hyperiton. And it looks like that is already a wrap on game one. And the Rescue Ace deck will admit defeat. And we're going to go into game two. I see Lightning Storm in hand for our Rika player. Uh, that's going to be above average going into the Rescue Ace end board, which consists of four set spells and traps. Combination of both. Um, so, I mean, that already just going into this next game is going to be really huge. I don't think there's really anything that the uh, Rescue Ace deck can put up, unfortunately, to deal with a card like Lightning Storm outside of side deck cards like Solemn Judgment and Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Yeah, I think those would be like the only two things that the deck could play because like Resolving Turbulence is one thing that the deck can protect by going for like things like Proxy F Magician and then going into Mud Dragon of the Swamp, Calling Fire, then Resolving Turbulence, right? So dealing with, you know, Turbulence getting Imperm, Valored, Mourner, etc. is a pretty easy thing to do. But once you resolve that Turbulence, protecting the Precious Cargo in the back line, that is another story. So it looks like they're going to reveal the two spells 
which look to be alert and emergency and the trap they are setting as well is one copy of extinguish so they're going for alert emergency and extinguish extinguish is the uh pop and then if they have hydrant the opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters or a monster with the same name for the rest of the turn and since they have hydrant on field they can activate uh, that alert since it was just set and they get to go ahead and add a rescue ace from their deck to their hand again since they have hydrant or normally just be adding back from the grave to the hand so they'll set all three past turn our rig of player is going to draw imperm per turn and they're going to go ahead and read the turbulence there uh, which says uh, if another card or cards you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect except during the damage step you can turn one card in the field destroy it so if something leaves any card you control leaves they get to pop uh, which would be triggered here by this lightning storm, but they're not going to have anything on field meaningful to pop. And in response to the lightning storm, they are going to go ahead and chain emergency to basically e telly out a rescue ace uh, and then tribute off that airlifter. So they're going to go ahead and special summon out preventer, which is basically like a book of moon, which could be pretty high impact against a deck like this. If you book the low guy, that could be really strong. Just quick effect. If you control another rescue ace, target effect monster, opponent controls, book it face down. Well, it has to be an effect monster, so that's actually not doing anything to Loki. And uh, I guess it doesn't matter anyways, because they're just going to imperm the preventer. Then they're going to resolve unexpected die. They just opened pretty solid here into this board. And uh, they're going to summon Dryas here. I think there's a bit of a miscommunication here. Um, they actually didn't end up using Dryas. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think there was a miscommunication there because he, he goes to use the impulse, but he actually can't use Dryas' effect because I think he may have sided out. I remember overhearing this because uh, I think I was playing my match right next to this, but I think he sided out the second sewing. Um, so he couldn't actually resolve Dryas there. So he's going to have to normal summon Sunsea Twin, everybody's favorite card to draw in this deck. Uh, and then in response to the Sunsea Twin effect, they're going to go ahead and chain Impulse to bring out another Preventer. And now they're going to activate that already hard-drawn sewing. And uh, this will only be able to bring them out a another Loki, obviously, but that's just going to get Ash because, again, that, that one card will still get them two bodies. Uh, it'll get them one off Dryas because they'll take damage from the, dry, the, the the sewing and they'll get the Loki out of the deck. So that's a one for two trade, essentially. I think that's a fine Ash. They also still have a Book of Moon, which may get less impactful as this turn goes on. They have Primula in hand as well. Not the greatest card to have here. They open up Twin and Primula and Sewing. All decent cards in their own right, but not necessarily the best cards to draw at any given point. And the Dance Peon is staying loyal here. It's going to hit a Therion, a Liliborea, and they're going to go ahead and use that Preventer right now to prevent it um, from getting any access to any Therion cards or allowing them to do any sort of Link Climb and Rixies plays since they do have that Dance Peon. I don't think they have any uh, level 4s in Graves, so it's not like they could have been able to use the Dance Peon's other effect. Um, but yeah, they're just going to go ahead and now Link off the two into a copy of jasmine and jasmine still contribute uh set monsters it's just same thing like any uh rick monster contribute set monsters so long as uh yeah you control them i don't think with con con you contribute set monsters the opponent controls i don't know the legality of that um but you know jasmine tributes for cost um same reason why you can use like infinite track brutal dozer to tribute a set earth machine monster that you have uh, to summon it and same thing why gear free can banish a set equip spell while anti spells up works just the same there but uh, they're able to get into jasmine which is insane here getting them into the ricka engine uh getting them into con con getting them into glamour but they are still staring down a big field of rescue ace bodies and they really don't have a good way to clear them they also still have to worry about that turbulence effect or another card they control leaves the field, they just get to pop card. So, I mean, they could Glamour Tribute the Turbulence, but it looks like they're choosing not to. And they'll also get Turbulence Effect, just to go ahead and bring back Fire, Fire Engine. Is there just no world where you Tribute... Unless he already used the, uh, the Turbulence Effect... Another card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect. I guess it's not leaving by card effect if it's being tributed off Glamour. So that's that's fair enough. But we just gave them a free body by tributing the Impulse. That could have been right. Uh, but now since they special summon 
hydrant or uh, sorry fire engine will get allow them to special summon so they're going to be able to summon out the airlifter will search them out hq and now they're going to be able to go into the uh hey there pretty mama or the teardrop the ricka queen and that will help clear some bodies a little bit but they've got five monsters to deal with I mean, they contribute off one uh maybe going to melius benji bounce another battle phase beat over two and you leave him with one monster on field so the tribute off the turbulence and then of course teardrops mandatory effect to gain 200 since something was tributed it's teardrop right snowdrops the main deck level eight it's been a little while since i've played ricka although we will be revisiting it again since we have absolutely smashed our donation goal uh, for our wild bird fund fundraiser which by the way thank you to everybody who's donated so far please consider to still donate uh, there is no limit on the goal I set a goal at 500 I might add stretch goals as well that I'll talk about in episode 3 of one deck one month so again thank you to everybody who donated um, so we're gonna see emergency reset the contain or the extinguish rather and then we're gonna see uh, teardrop fire off another effect again I think there's still a world where we're just, I mean, getting rid of Hydrant makes more sense because having Hydrant on field just giving them so many bonus effects. So they'll go ahead and use that Extinguish there to go ahead and pop the Primula, it looked like. And they're going to go ahead and summon out Turbulence by banishing two from the grave. Activate HQ. HQ can go ahead and recycle up to four here to draw one to put back the... Uh, the alert emergency and extinguish and i think that was a copy of preventer put that back in the deck draw one and they really don't have much of a board here to try to worry about getting through i don't think they have princess online so they really don't have any interruptions to go through here and the alert will revive one from grave and or it might have been rescued I, they, they just look so similar I, I really am, I don't know what else to say. They just look so similar. Um, yeah. They, they, Konami needs to stop doing this with cards. There's another archetype too recently that came out and a lot of the cards look so, so similar. There's Sunlight Wolf. I know what that one looks like from a mile away. And Preventer will bring back the Banished Turbulence. And they're going to Link for Link Karibo. That will allow them to proc Sunlight Wolf to add back. I think that was Hydrant. And then they're going to link into Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn effect, discarding Book of Moon. We don't need that anymore. And we're going to put back the Teardrop. And then we're going to link Climb again into Axis Code Talker. And that's going to be game right there. Uh, they did have Sewing in Grave, but I'm pretty sure they could have blown it up, blown it up again. Um, since they can only protect once. But yeah, I don't think it matters. We're into Game 3 situation there. And because uh, they did have a... Well, Unicorn's a Dark, actually. I don't know if that... Now that I think about it, that maybe made it made a difference there. I don't know. We do have Droll and Lockbird immediately, then Ash Blossom on the sewing. So that's two very strong hand traps here in game three already to start things off. Rescue Ace making a little bit of a comeback. I just don't know if he had another Link monster in his grave that wasn't a Dark monster. Unless the Ricka player just scooped, maybe they forgot they had sewing in grave. Because that, that Jasmine was just going to live. Because of the sewing. And then Dance Peon is the most loyal in this matchup. That is your key to victory playing Rikas and Avalon. If you're under Droll and you've gotten Ashed. Especially on sewing. That is your key to victory. Not going to work every time. But sometimes it just absolutely works wonders. The only unfortunate thing is there. If they milled this Coliseum off of that uh, Dance Peon as well. And I guess it doesn't matter too much. Because they weren't searching anything anyways. It'll make them both level four with Dance Peon's other fact. They've already got a you know Princess and Grave, so that's that's kind of clutch. They've got Ash in hand as well, and uh, they're gonna go ahead and use the effect there to go and head add back a plant or a Rika. Would have been even crazier if they had milled like a Con Con off of that, and they could just like add back the Con Con. So they're like still adding things from deck to hand without actually adding things from deck to hand. A lot of great synergy there between Strena and Dance Peon, especially under Droll. They're going to link climb up to Melius. Melius will bring back the seed and then they go into Bengal Lancer. So Bengal Lancer is a bounce. And then they have Strena, uh, which is a perfect tribute uh, target for Princess and Grave, which is a monster negate. 
then Strider will tag into another Monster Negate or Quick Effect Tribute. They also have Ash Blossom of their own in hand. So that's one, two, three, four interruptions. We're going to see Rescue Ace lead with Emergency, and that's going to get Ash. I don't know if that's the best Ash, but it's certainly an Ash here in this uh, certain instance. They're going to attempt to summon out Preventer, and they're going to banish Emergency. They're going to chain Princess, tributing off the Strider there, just burning our interruptions immediately here. But I mean... Sometimes that's what you got to do, and they're going to go ahead and re resolve Strenner, bring out Hyperiton for a monster negate, and uh, they're just going to set two and pass. They've also drawn Primula. They have Sewing in hand. They have looks to be Glamour, so they do have a decent amount of engine here, really just all engine um, to go into. Uh... That was me checking the top card of my, my friend's deck there, by the way. I won't spoil what it was. I think I remember exactly what it is, but I won't spoil it. But he's going to go ahead and activate Glamour. And uh, that's going to go ahead and search for Petal. Petal effect on summon. No, nothing on summon. Uh, nothing in uh, response to the effect here. That's going to go ahead and fetch them a Mudan. So this will get them access to Con Con here. Which will make it increasingly harder for Rescue Ace to come back here. And uh, that will all be successful. They'll activate the Con Con. See if they have anything like Cosmic Cyclone. They could also have used Hyperiton right now to attach a spell um so having a spell negate if they aren't able to close out the game this turn for whatever reason they have access either to a monster or a spell negate next turn i doubt we'll see the elusive trap card underneath hyperion as i'm pretty sure that's never happened in the history of um Rica and avalon but uh, maybe it has and yep speak of the devil there's the cosmic cyclone on the con con once they activate the effect the set easiest thousand life points paid in my life Con Con is no doubt a customized card developed by a 12 year old who just barely understands the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! says, you know what, let's make all these cards tribute our opponent cards. So they're going to use Sewing, and I think they might have chained Hyperiton to the Sewing to attach. Yeah, and they are also being informed because the duelist on the right there has also played Rikas and Alana themselves extensively. They cannot summon twins since they uh, do not have Dryas on field, and they do use the Hyperiton here to attach that Disc Coliseum underneath the Hyperiton. So again, now they have access to that Spell or Trap Negate. Well, Spell Negate. I also see Aurea, the Sylvan High Arbiter, in the extra deck as well, which is a pretty cool card to see. Not something you see too often in too many Rika lists nowadays, or maybe it's become standard. I have no idea. It's such a cool card. Sylvan's would be a deck that I would love to see get support in the future. Such an amazing deck. Um, artwork is like 10 out of 10 as well. Plants, just, I don't know, just really cool. Really well done. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just not like um, fairy princess plants. It's uh, like real plant plants. I don't know. Like Marshall Leaf is one of my favorite... Uh, uh, Sylvan monsters and as they go for teardrop that is just going to be the rescue ace deck admitting defeat unfortunate So we'll see Ricka take it 2-1 there and last but not least a big shout out goes to our divine level channel members who are Misfit, H8, Cyber, Cadillacs, Pony Stark, and Green Thank you guys so much as always for your kind and very generous support of the channel